Call it number four at seven three six zero one eight six. Does that work for you? I was going to say four, and then I changed my mind. Five. We're going to go with four, though. Four. four. Call like it four right now at seven three six zero one eight six. Your chance to win our free money question of the day: one, two, or three hundred dollars in cash before we leave here this morning. Um, okay, tomorrow I'm told that we will have the superintendent from New Hartford. Is that right, Andrew? That's going to be yeah. uh, coming on tomorrow, and possibly a mm-hmm. few others that want to discuss their school board issues. And tomorrow is the big vote day, and it's important, right, to get out and cast your vote. And this is the uh, this is uh, the this is your property taxes. But beyond that, it's the future of your community. Is that true? Do you think, think you'd say it that? I way? think that sounds yeah, good. You're voting for your kids and education and all that stuff. Um, uh, while I wait for Andrew to hook that, if we have the caller here. Yes, no, maybe. Yeah. What's his name, Andrew? Uh, Tom and Utica. Oh, it's Tom and Utica. I thought that still said Tom and Little Falls up there. That's why I was wondering. Uh, for the money, Tom and Utica, good morning. How you doing? Good morning. How are you? Good, Tom. You ready to win some money? I hope so. <laughs> All right. Good. Good. All right. Uh, let's see what we're playing for. Is it one, two, or $300 from the Hobica Law Firm? $100. I, I feel like we have some cheating going on here. Tom, are you? Say, say for me $100, would you? One hundred dollars. Oh my God! The voice of our <laughs> thing is here. <laughs> it is him. But this time, Tom, when you say it, say it like it's almost like one hundred dollars. Go ahead. One hundred dollars. <laughs> it is. That Can is we so replace funny. our one hundred dollars with funniest thing. It's I feel Tom? Like I, I feel I should give you a hundred dollar talent fee or something. I mean, this is unbelievable. Hey, maybe, maybe that should just that should be the question. I already won. You know, You've you already know. won. He knew. He knew. <laughs> All right. Very cool. Okay. Here's your question, uh, and you'll have seven seconds to answer it. Get that answer in there. Make sure you get an answer so you know what's uh, you get an answer in there. Here we go. Potato chips were invented where? Ready? Go. France. In France, were potato chips invented in France? <laughs> Sorry about that. Casanova. Probably, probably China, right? Oh, my Casanova? goodness. Casanova? No. Everything's been invented in China. Christine, the answer is? Saratoga. New York State, yes, Saratoga, potato chips. Wow. Yeah. It, was it was an accident. I, I would have accepted New York or Saratoga, okay? And how was okay. that accident? How did that happen, Christine? You dubbed, you, you got... Chocolate and my peanut butter. Something well, like that. Well, it was kind of the potatoes kept getting returned until they were thinner and thinner. And somebody said, okay, guess what? Uh, we'll put the story up online. It's too right. long to really tell cool. in 30 seconds. Um, uh, by the way, online right now, we do have the story uh, that we had uh, Richard Hughes, the Central Valley Academy superintendent. We do have up on our website at WIBX950.com the uh, report that they put out on the numbers. And it might be worth reading before you vote tomorrow. Because uh, they really feel they need some change there in that school district in terms of strategy and how to teach these kids. 